Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to add scratches to our table. So, um, same kind of process, we want to be working with a fill layer, so we want to be as non-destructive as possible. And I am going to just color pick this color that we have for our edge wear. And I'm going to have very rough, because um, it's wood is very rough um, exposed wood is and I'll have the go in so it's the um, height is going in so it's going to cut into the wood and I'll just name this scratches I think this color actually might be too too much oh actually let me do undo that because I forgot for this, we had it be overlay. Overlay. So it will expose into the wood a little bit. Maybe let's try screen. Yeah, overlay. So let's try that. And then from here, let's, because I do that so that I can see the green, even when we have the scratches. Um, and then I'm going to go over here and add a black mask. And then in the ma in the black mask, we're going to add a fill. Then in the fill, we're going to find some textures. So in here, I'm going to look up scratches. And then look uh, look this up. Okay, there's a good one on that you get these giant scratches this might make sense if you have like a wolf or like I don't know a bear coming into your office or something um, but we need to change this so let's go down here and I want to change the overall scale and that's usually up here tiling I'm gonna bring that up so that might be still something like this might make sense. Um, obviously, it's too much; it's everywhere. Um, but the scratches that are there look nice. Um, so now I just need to reduce it, and I'll do that the same way that I did it with the edgeware. I can be very intentional about it, or I can do both. So let's do a global kind of lost and found on it so I'm going to add a fill and then on the fill I'm going to click on that and I'm going to look up grunge might be a good one so you want oops you want a map where it's white and black going back and forth so something like that might be fine um, so you want the detail to appear and disappear. Maybe something like this, and then we'll adjust it, maybe. Okay, maybe that's fine. I'll click on that. Um, and then here, we'll probably have to change the scale so that it appears and disappears. My dog's snoring next to me. Um, so there we go and then um, obviously that looks weird but we need to multiply this so we're multiplying a black so we're multiplying away the um, scratches in this in certain areas using that map so multiply over it and you can kind of see now and I can look at my mask to see so it's it's moving away from those areas um, like it that area here as you can see it kind of disappearing once in a while um, so what I can do to make this better is I can contrast it up even more so do that um, I can change this so it's not so small maybe something like that that might be good so now I get a overall lost and found effect 
And then I'm going to go to the material. So it's not everywhere, but it's still probably too much. So now I can add a paint effect. And then I'm going to be very intentional about like, either I can make, make another one of these um, masks, um, or I can just paint out the areas that are kind of bothering me. So I think that's fine. Maybe too much there, too much there. So you're just looking through, fixing the areas that need to be fixed. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.